All right, so during the quick scan, it's found uh, that one file that I ran, it found that um, it has infected the computer. And I am going to perform a reboot, which is what it wants me to do to remove this program. Well, yes, it will remove a special dis disinfection product here. So, I would hope it wouldn't take too long to disinfect this, but we'll see. Alright, so, we'll be deleted on reboot, which is fine. And now the computer goes ahead and reboots. So I'll be right back when this is done rebooting. Alright. Alright, resuming the video here as we boot back up. So. Just waiting for Kaspersky to load. There we go. Big, big K. Let's open this up. Everything's fine. It's probably a pretty clean computer. Uh, and let's take a look. We go... We're gonna run something in the sandbox. So... When you safe run an application to Kaspersky, it comes up with a big green border. All right, I'm going to turn off Kaspersky's antivirus engines again. Okay. So now we're going to go back here, and we're going to go to malware domain list, and... At that point, I'm going to see if I can find a rogue. So also, any new window that comes up. Doesn't seem to be seeing anything. I know there was something here, so I'm just going to scan through here. And see if I see anything. Rogue. We're going to see if this is actual a roguish, applic roguish application. Okay, we'll run this. And... Run that. I don't know, Kaspersky seems to be nuking all of these things, even when it's not on. Uh, which annoys me, because... Yeah, it's just not giving any permissions to these these applications that are running. They're not even allowed to run, even though... Yeah, so it's basically... And we'll look at application activity and untrusted. Let's see if we can see these untrusted processes. Untrusted. All. All right. So it has set these as untrusted, and that is why they cannot load. It sets everything that's running out of that temp directory as untrusted so far, and it really has no access rights to do what it wants to do. So therefore, it's completely, completely nuked. We're gonna open up Internet Explorer though again in safe run application. We're going to download something like CCleaner. Alright. And I'm going to show you how it does work when I try to run a program in the sandbox. So we're going to download this, and when it's done, we're going to run it. B. 
because it has CCleaner as its trusted process, it has no trouble running. All right. But now you see CCleaner comes up. This is what would happen with the rogue. CCleaner comes up. It's in the sandbox. So let's go back under Kaspersky here. And we are going to clear the sandbox. Yes. We're going to try that again. Um, oh. Going to close Internet Explorer. Then we'll clear the sandbox. All right, perfect. And as you'll see, there's now no C Cleaner icons on the desktop. If we go under my computer, C Cleaner installed to here, by the way. So if we go under C, we'll go to Program Files, and then look, there's no Piriform folder, no C Cleaner folder. So that's what happens if you try to run a rogue in the sandbox. The rogue will download, install, you close its processes, or whatever, you close Internet Explorer, and you hit Clear Sandbox. And then there's no rogue, no Trojan, no nothing. So that's pretty cool. If you're using a 32-bit system, definitely use the Sandbox. On 64-bit systems, which are more secure because of patch guard and everything, uh, Casper C does have some compatibility issues to just be aware of that. Um, you can still run applications as a safe run environment, but it does say it gives you compatibility issues and you can run into trouble. So, this is a great suite um, and it can really protect you even if you have its antivirus components turned off, which we saw because it's set all of those processes so untrusted that they couldn't run. Um, and it cleaned off some difficult processes that we ended up getting on this computer when we did get something to run by completely killing Kaspersky. Uh, we did see the application uh, control working and the proactive defense, which was why those executables couldn't run. And if I had the antivirus on and something got through, it would either get killed by the sandbox or the application control would prevent it from running. Or if it did run, you get an alert here saying something is trying to modify something or other. Or it seems like this. Do you want to block it? Or do you want to allow it or add it to the exclusions? And of course it gives you su the suggested recommended protocol. So in, there, in that sense, Casper C is very nice and easy to use because it tells you what to do, which most other suites don't actually tell you what to do. I actually also haven't received many false positives at all using Casper C, which is great. And the other thing is you can use Casper C to help keep your computer updated and without security holes, so you would be less open to worms and trojans and stuff like that that got through all its defenses. So this is why I like Kaspersky. Um, it's a great suite. And you can get it on eBay if you want for like $20, and I know people have had great success and their keys haven't gotten blacklisted. So, even just give the free trial a try and see what you see what happens, because it's really great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.